Hello, this is Manuel from Manuel Martel Photography and welcome to another tutorial on Pictorial. Today I would like to show you how to edit this image using Pictorial. So that'll give you a bit of an overview of what you can do with this new editing software as well as how to use it. And you may learn a few things or two. So I am in photos right now. So what we're going to do here is go to this panel and we're going to revert to the original photo. We will work on this image. Now to the extension and to pictorial. Okay, so in this image, there's a few things going on. First off, we have a beautiful sunrise when I took in Bali, but I had a lot of dust spot into my lens, so we'll have to correct that. I'll show you how I do that. The beach is very dark, so is the boat. We're gonna try to give a little bit more life to uh, life, sorry, to the boat, the beach, and the sunset, the uh, sunrise. Sorry, it's a little flat, so we'll try to give it a little bit of color and make it pop a little bit more. Okay. So first thing first, we will deal with, with these spots. The way I do that is fairly simple. Um, I will go to my color. I will make sure the image is black and white, and with a curve. I will add a lot of contrast to this image. And the reason why I'm doing that is you can see now all those spots are showing up and they're easy to find. So I will zoom in and for the sake of keeping this tutorial short, I will not fix everything in this image, but I would like to show you how to do that. And I would like to show you um, basically a few techniques all the way through. But first thing, we're gonna go to retouch patch and this is how we're going to fix things. Two problems. First, the dust the dust spots and the second problem are the pixels here. You get, maybe you can see that's a, what, a few white spots there. So I'm going to bring this very, very small patch tool. So with two fingers sliding on my trackpad and I will choose right in the middle. I'm not going to do too much changes because it is such a small area. So you'll see me. I'm just going to just quickly click and I'm doing nothing else than just clicking on these. Hold the command key, left click, and then you're able to move around. Okay, now I have these spots that I really need to work on. So that I'm going to spend a little bit more time doing. So the secret is this. Once you use this size, uh, this uh, patch tool, you have a circle with a plus in it, and then you have the outer circle. So trying to wrap everything into the two circles. So let's choose that spot. When you click, there's another circle that appears. So what's happening here is you're telling the software that this area need to be changed using different pixels around. So I'm going to use, so this circle can move and you can choose different pixels. So the idea is the closer you are to the area you want to change, the color and the pixels should be more similar. So it's always best practice to go around and choose an area close by and you just move that circle until it looked good. So if I were to go around here in the brighter area, it's not gonna look good at all. So you can really get a find an area. Now, that works for you. This half circle here is gonna be a bit tricky, so I really need to paint it in. And then this is tricky because it's a big area and it's a U shape. So that looks pretty good this way. I'm gonna keep going here. There's a few more I want to change. Now I'm going to do that a little quicker now because we want to keep this tutorial under a reasonable time, but you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Take your time while doing that at home. There's another one here. And make sure you choose something nearby. These little ones, always choose the smaller size brush possible and just click once on it. It should work very good. Oh, another one here that's going to drive me crazy down the road. Okay. I'm going to do these ones. Actually look good. How about this one? Uh, this one I'll have to move around a bit. Okay. And this one. Look good there. Okay. So we'll, we'll call this good for now. So I'll press the space bar to go back. Fit to normal. And if I do look the before and after, you can always press the uh, on and off button here and you can tell those dust spots are gone. And this is all I'm gonna do with this. Take 
time at home to really look. Oh, there's one there. It's going to drive me crazy. So I might as well just do it now. Okay. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to press back on the patch. And I don't need the color to be like this anymore. So I'm going to press this reset here. And I'm going to press this reset to reset my curve. And we're back to our image. Okay. Our sky looked good. The dust spots are gone. Now we can work on different things. I will start by working on the bus to the boat first. I want to bring the boat probably the same color at, as this outrigger. So I go and choose a brush and I will add to this brush a luminosity mask. Uh, you'll see me using luminosity mask quite a bit in two different tutorials with pictorial because for me this is one of the best features the software have to offer. This is a very user-friendly luminosity mask and it is not easy to come by. Actually, I haven't seen any other software to have something that easy and that great to use. So if you're not familiar with what it is, what we're going to do here is we're going to tell this uh, software, this pictorial, that we want to work only on the actual brighter area here of the boat and not the beach. So the beach is very dark versus the boat, so that will work fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this little dot in the slider back to here. So what that means is I'm telling Pictorial I do not wish to do any changes to these darker area of the image. So I'm going to bring the exposure up. Well, actually, let's just bring it down to about there. And I will brush away. And I will bring the edge to 100% and the flow 100% too. So I will brush away. And now nothing is happening because... It is I mean, darker than here we go. So just by doing that, I'm gonna press O. By pressing O, what's happening here is it's showing me my my mask basically. What's white, it's is uh, what's been affected with the image, and what's black is what's not affected by the image by the brush. Sorry. So if I press Option Alt see there is a minus in my circle now so I can go around and try to eliminate what I over brush with if I want to do it this way and I made a passage here just to show you so if I bring this whoops the slider down just a bit so this area should disappear because it is dark so see my selection is way more refined this way so now I really like this selection. I'm going to press O to come back and I will bring this exposure up till I find that my outrigger is matching my boat, which is about there. And there's a bit of dirtiness on the boat, a few black grain, and it's very present on the outrigger. So what I will try to uh, bring this up, I will add clarity to my list. Every time you go there, add something, it goes to your list and I will add clarity. So add definition to my boat here and especially bring bring back that contrast and a bit of that dirtiness so now everything kind of match okay so if I zoom in a bit see there's a bit of that water there I don't want that so I'm gonna press the minus button and I'm gonna make this disappear just like that there we go so I'm very pleased with selection oh I'm gonna add that there okay so let's zoom out now I want to work on the beach. So I can do the same thing. So I'm going to press the plus button here to add a new brush. And I want to bring the, I want to bring a little bit more exposure to the beach and some clarity. So I know I'm going to bring clarity, so I'm going to bring the clarity already in there. And I'm going to use the luminosity mask once again. Because I do not wish to use the bright area in the image. I only want to work on the black spectrum. So then we can really be generous. Let's just bring that up so we see what we're doing here. So this is a way that I do it. I just bring things up quite a bit that way so I actually know what I'm doing. So you know you can try to be selective but you can be a little bit rough on your selection here because we're gonna play with the mask in a second here. And then oh don't necessarily want the bottom of this 
boat to be selected as well. So if that become an, a problem, we'll take that out later. So you can tell right now, a bit of the outrigger have been uh, been affected by this, and a little bit of on the water as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play with this mask and maybe change the circle, bring left a little bit more, and re refine this mask. So really, just like that, it's perfect. So if I go, I can really bring this like that. And I don't necessarily want this to be part of... Here we go. So we can go around. I'm trying to be a little bit more selective. And then I can go overboard into the water. Nothing's happening because my mask is... My luminosity mask is working great. Now, this is not the look I want, so I will bring that slider back down because now I can make changes. Now my mask is good, so I'll bring that beach up just a bit. I'll add a whole lot of clarity on it. Maybe just like this. So now there's a little bit more uh, contrast between the darker and the wider and the brighter spot in my image. Uh, maybe not that much, or just a little bit, just like that. And how about the blacks? So blacks, we don't want to play too much. Shadow, perhaps. Shadows. Shadows would be good. Just, just one or two. Or five. I just want just one or two. Just. Okay, if you look see so far major major different if you think that it's too much you can slide your opacity down to zero and then just revert back to a place you find that works good which I think we went a little overboard with how bright the beach is so around 80% is what I want okay so we are pretty good with this actually it's a little too bright let's go down to maybe 75% I don't want to be that being part of the image too much okay now let's work on a sky um, what we're going to do is create another brush, and again, I'll use the exposure options as we see what we're doing here, and I'm not going to use any mask because everything is quite bright, mind you, there's a lot of dark area, but what I'm going to do instead is make sure my edges, the edge of my brush is at uh, 100%. So what that actually do is, it selection of your brush pictorial knows that you only try to, any type of lines that contrast or a different color, pictorial knows that you not want, want it to actually paint in it. So it select a little bit, or deselect I should say, a little bit of the image for you. So I will go and make a first passage and then you'll see like I'll go on the edge there but even if my brush is touching the actual canvas it's not selecting the canvas it's same it's gonna happen here with the outrigger so it's a great tool now you may run into a problem sometimes that is a little too much but just go around and uh, just paint away make the brush a little smaller you can actually choose the water I'm trying to be as precise as possible and this is a that's amazing feature by the way pictorial that you can actually use this edge because you don't have to zoom 1600% to try to really make good selection you can just use this feature and then it really works great so I can actually go overboard there and in, in the forest and stuff only the sky is selected now if I were to start on the canvas only the canvas would have been selected not the sky and everything so now part of it here I haven't been selected so now I'll need to change the edge to maybe 40 50 percent and then that way I can go paint the area and if you want to have full control you don't like this edge deal whatsoever bring that to zero percent then wherever your brush goes it will paint so it's a very good feature once to if you want to finish off just like that. Okay. So I'm going to bring that edge back to 180% or so. Okay. Now we will bring this exposure back down. So what I'm trying to do here is just add a little bit of contrast to the sky. It's going to darken the sky a little bit. Then we can have uh, maybe add a curve to this. And then a little secret here you can just take the bottom part and just move it to the right a little bit like this okay 
And if you find it's a little too sharp edges at the bottom there, what I would do is bring the edges to 40%. Oops. Bring this flow, feather, sorry, to 50% and this flow to maybe around 50% as well. And then you can really just make a big brush and just come on the edge there and just press a few times. And then that line of the beach there will mesh a little bit better with the water. Sorry, you may hear that. It was a fairy just passing by. Okay, so now I find this is way better. Okay. So, I like this look. If I go before and after, see there's a little bit more definition in my sky. It's a little bit more contrast. Now let's try to bring a little bit more life to our sky here. What we're going to do is we're going to add split tone and we're going to work this. So we're going to open this split tone panel here. What I'm trying to achieve here is all the shadows into, actually no, let's do that in the main image. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just go straight to color instead and then play with split tone. So what I'm trying to achieve here is like the shadows because we have a sunrise and it's very warm. It's actually very red and orange and that pink color. I'm going to try to bring that everywhere in the image. Okay. So this color here, what I'm going to try to do is with this shadow slider, bring it up quite a bit. And then we're going to find that red orange color that we like. So maybe just like that. And what I'm looking primarily is on the boat, on the beach, and every other places around the difference that it actually makes. So if I disable this and turn on and enable this. So see like everything become very red in all the shadows. Oops, sorry, not the balance, uh, the slider here. So maybe it's too much. So we're going to bring it up just a bit to bring all of that red into the boat, the beach, and the trees behind. Now the highlights, the highlights are the bright bits all over there. I will bring some yellow of that sun coming up in there. So bring that up quite a bit. So now if you take a look, we're going to try and find this yellow color right there. So see that yellow coming out of there, the trees, now all those places where it's bright, I'm bringing this yellow color in there. So I can go very high. So see the difference there? So I'll find a happy medium which I find it's about right there. Okay. So see the difference now? That blue tone of the shadows being replaced with the warmth of the sun and all the bright places there have that beautiful sun rich yellow coming out. All right. So at any time if I feel that beach I don't like it's too bright for me. So I'll go back to my panel here, I press on this button here, if you press on this button you're playing with the sky, if I press on this button you're playing with the beach, we're going to bring the exposure down just a bit so it's not too present, maybe just like that, I find it's a little bit better. Okay, here it is. So in within a few click we were able to selectively fine tune areas of the image. For example, the boat, we only chose the hull. It works very good. So again, all these luminous, luminosity masks, the edges with the brush help you take control over the selection big time. Okay. So this is all we're going to do with this image. If you look at the before and the after, you can tell a massive difference with the sky color. It's more rich, it's more defined. We get rid of those dust spots and we can see the boat a little bit better and it looks that much better. Okay, if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them in the area below. If you want to subscribe to my journal, my, use, my newsletter, sorry, feel free to do so. I also have my website if you want to take a look. If you want to learn more about Pictorial, I have other videos. You can see at the end of this one, there will be a link and, uh, at the end of the video. So until next time, thanks for watching. The last thing I'm going to do here is just press save changes and we will go back into our Mac Photos library. And this is all we're going to do today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.